Hi, I'm Audrey reporting to you from Cal TV Sports. I'm here at the Hellman Tennis Complex where the California women's tennis team is facing the Washington Huskies. The Golden Bears just won the doubles point and the singles are underway. Good afternoon, this is Alvin Shen of Cal TV, also from the sports department. The Washington Huskies is the first team that's hosted by the California Golden Bears in their last six home games of the regular season. The California Golden Bears have been doing great all throughout the season, coming in number three in rankings nationwide. Currently, they're leading in single matches on court one, two, and three, and seem well on their way to capture a victory today. Back to you, Audrey. Hi, I'm here with Sophie, who played number three singles today. Sophie, how do you feel about your performance today? I feel really good. I think um, I came out a little rusty, but I was able to focus on what was working and execute the game plan. Uh, as a tennis player, I know you're always trying to improve your game. Is there anything in particular that you're working on right now? Yes, it's stepping into the court and not letting the shorter balls get by, basically. <laughs> Do you have any um, special rituals before or during a match? <laughs> before, um, so sometimes I would pack the night before and if I win my match the next day, I would do the exact same thing. If I lose, like, everything changes. I would eat the exact same thing for breakfast. So it's kind of it's crazy. So uh, I know this is your last year of playing tennis. So um, do you have any future aspirations as far as tennis, or what are your plans for the future in general? I definitely want to teach tennis. Um, I, haven't, I don't really want to play for the next couple of years, but that could change also. And I still have a semester to finish off school. Well, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> the Bears captured another victory today against the Huskies and moved to 15 and 3 in overall record. In addition, they're also 6 and 1 in Pac-12 play, and tomorrow they'll be hosting University of Oregon, another Pac-12 component. Hi, I'm here with Coach Amanda Augustus. Um, Coach, how do you think overall the match went today? Um, I think the match went really well. Um, I think it was our first match at home in a while, so um, we got off to a really good start with a doubles point. And then um, we had some good wins and singles to get us to the four points we needed. And then uh, lost a couple tough ones at the end there and a couple tie breaks. But um, overall, happy to get another Pac-12 win for the team. Uh, what are you doing to prepare tomorrow against Oregon? Um, you know, I think we'll make a few adjustments. I think we, we could have done a little better job on our short balls today. Um, so I think we'll hit a few extra of those in our warm-up tomorrow. But I think other than that, I thought um, we hit the ball pretty well today. Uh, so I understand you are also a Cal tennis player. Well, how is your experience different um, as being a player versus as being a coach? Um, well, as a coach now, it's much harder because I have to watch. <laughs> Sometimes, in some ways, it's a lot more fun to, to play. Um, but it's nice. I like helping, uh, helping the, the Bears um, to be successful and helping them develop their game. Cool. Um, so do you still uh, keep up your game? I try a little bit. They, they, keep, me, uh, they keep me in shape, so I, I still enjoy it. Uh, playing when I can. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Go Bears. <laughs> so this is it for tennis coverage from Cal TV Sports and thank you for watching. We'll see you here next time. Alvin Chen signing off.